For people trying to overcome a heroin addiction, there are special treatments like methadone available to deal with the withdrawal symptoms. But these drugs don't work for everyone, particularly people who may have a long-term dependency. But over the last decade, a new option has emerged overseas in the form of a powerful opioid painkiller called hydromorphone. A lot of people who are extremely addicted to drugs generate their um, money to buy drugs from uh, petty crime. And so part of the benefit of medication assisted treatment is actually crime reduction, it's overdose reduction. Hydromorphone is injected in a supervised clinic and has been used successfully overseas, including in this clinic in Vancouver for a decade. Doctors there say it's helped people with moderate to severe addiction in cleaning up their lives. It really is a tool to get people into care and then to support them to transition to other things when they're ready. We've got lots of evidence that shows that it's clinically effective, cost effective, reduces crime, reduces mortality. The trial will be housed in this new community health hub on Flinders Street. It will involve 60 people, but only 30 will be given the drug in a special injecting room. The others will take methadone. It will begin in 2026, causing concern among experts about the trial's limited scope. We've got a huge number of people who need help uh, and a, a small hydromorphone trial I don't think touched the sides of the level of need that we have in the Victorian community today. So the, the delay is of significant concern. The hydromorphone trial and that will need to be done under medical supervision so we need the time to build up that service. Advocates also want the trial to be housed at the existing safe injecting room in North Richmond given there's already a need there. The government says it's not best practice to co-locate. Richard William, ABC News, Melbourne.